my version of Vault 88. So here we are. <clears throat> this is my Fallout character. Now I have it set up. Uh, lots of fun. Traveling with my trusted companion, Kate. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Now I've done a fair bit of work inside Vault 88. Uh, I have the main area completely finished. I've cleared out all the accessory tunnels. I've started work in some of the accessory tunnels. The main portion of the vault's about as done as I'm going to make it. I may do a few little things here and there, but won't be too much. I've set up some primitive defenses. Got the left side area blocked off. Looks pretty nice. Got myself a guard. Little first aid station there. This is the entrance area to the vault. Security's down that way. This leads around to the area that I have blocked off and the main reactor room where he'll start the quest in Vault 88. Heading down into the vault. I've made some serious changes to the inside of the vault. Starting off with a very basic residential area, simply so that they have a place to sleep. I kept this portion pretty basic because you can't really control what they sleep in unless you assign them beds and I'm not that, shall we say, micromanaging. Set up some VIP suites. This is kind of like a bar hangout area for them. Made a couple of nice rooms. Again, nothing crazy, just, you know. Then we have the VIP suite, which is the really nice suite. Got the uh, lady killer bed and everything. Uh, got a shower, toilet, things like that. <clears throat> Heading out of this area, we're not going to go to the atrium just yet. This is the cafeteria down here. That leads into the atrium. A little cafeteria action. Got some booths, some signs, a couple of vendors, victory machine, and you'll find the joy of the soda fountain once you actually get it set up and do all the quests. It's quite crazy. This area here leads off into another section of the vault which I haven't done any work in. Um, I have cleared out all the side tunnels and I will tell you that when you are exploring side tunnels you definitely want to be in workshop mode because there are a lot of removable walls in the side tunnels. Inside the side tunnels, uh, one in particular which I'll show you here in a minute, uh, there's like three removable walls, uh, tons and yeah. tons of rad scorpions, as well as a very large sentry bot that has been trapped down there, and he's not happy. So, here's my store set up. Made myself a little workshop action. Power armor. You will notice throughout this video that I have a ton of mods loaded. I probably have 50 or 60 different mods loaded, but it's alright. I'm playing it my way. Little hydroponics bay leading off into the school where all the vaults residents take their goat exams because, you know, everybody likes taking the goat, right? There's nothing really down that tunnel right now. Uh, again, more work to do, but uh, we'll head upstairs to check out the clinic. Overseer's office is there. 
here's the reactor room. I have several reactors set up. This is just the one that kind of looked cool. Um, <clears throat> outside of the reactor room, I'll show you quickly how I set up all of my power conduits so that they're hidden. I use the tall power poles and reactors on top of the vault so that um, because the tall power poles create a large area for electricity and you can see how cramped it is in here there's still a little bit of room I could use up like that room I could probably make a little bigger um, you know it just works the way it is um, but anyway that's how I have the power set up here's the overseer's office little weapon rack set up some mod weapons that I've downloaded atrium effect little defense just in case somebody gets into the overseer's office which I've never been attacked here not once so I really wouldn't worry too much about it another atrium area we'll head back downstairs and I'll show you the rest of this section of the vault Now, getting these wide rooms to uh, wedge up next to the other one, you kind of have to just inch it up until you get there. They don't exactly snap, so be ready for that. A uh, little nursery action, barbershop. Now, this is the area that I was telling you about where there's several torn away walls down in this side. Um, on the left side of this tunnel, there's a very large water machine that is already here so I just built a reactor and gave it some power I think it's worth 100 or 200 water so definitely worth hooking up and the other tunnel I've already cleared it out but you'll see where everything is and behind this hidden wall here and you'll know this room because it's obvious there's a hidden wall here and there's another hidden wall here and there's another hidden wall back in here there's another hidden wall back here now all these green spots that you see on the wall that is where uranium was found uh, and there's even some more up there that I can't quite get to uh, but if you're in workshop mode you can just scrap it and you'll get the ore you don't actually have to mine this stuff but if you enter this area in workshop mode, you'll be able to remove the walls. And back down the other side of this tunnel. This is all room you could build in. I mean, there's no reason why you couldn't. But, you know, I'm using a mod to give me an unlimited settlement budget. Right about here was where that other hidden wall was. And it's basically limestone, I think it is. There's this big giant sentry bot. Now, I don't know if it's random, you might get something else. Kind of a cool wall that they Vault Tech must have built down here. And there's all kinds of stuff down here to scrap and clean out. But, uh, <clears throat> you know, there's a lot of scorpions down here. I mean, a lot. I probably killed 15 or 20 scorpions just in this section. This will bring lots of ammo when you go in there. Now there's a mod that I've used that cleans up these side tunnels a little bit so you could build in there. It removes a lot of the rubble, clears them out for you. Um, there's not really much you could put in here because it's not wide enough for a wide hallway or two sections by themselves. So 
it just cleans it up a little bit more than anything but you can see how much space I've had to leave in between I could spread this out but because I'm not extremely attention to detail when it comes to laying out these buildings they are a little crooked so I'd have to rebuild everything to get this to stretch out properly again I ran power conduits on the outside uh, the top of the atrium you cannot put power poles on so be careful of that um, you'll have to find creative ways to do it um, to get power to certain spots in the atrium like way up top there I couldn't put lights so I had to run power conduits along the ceiling of the inside of the vault um, it would be nice if there was a light that would mount on the atrium I don't know if there's a mod out there for that I haven't really looked would be nice it would kind of brighten that up a little um, out here are more tunnels that you can explore and I have some wide hallways set up in here I'm not sure what I'm gonna do down here yet but probably more hydroponics for food lots of room down here to build these wide hallways fit in here quite nicely there's more hidden walls back in here that you need to clear out in workshop mode again just scrap everything the materials will end up in your workshop this little tunnel leads into this fun area I haven't scrapped any of this because it kind of looked neat that is what uranium looks like when it's not processed or mined or anything um, this leads into the back of a building bunch of junk here but if you go up and up and up you'll see power and some building pieces there is actually another entrance to vault 88 that is inside this wall here and I think what I need to do since I'm over here is actually scrap it and this will take you if you want to look at the map still shows as vault 88 but let's just take a look and see where we come out I think you'd be surprised how big Vault 88's area really is. City Point Pharmacy. Look where Vault 88 is on the map. All of this underground area is the vault. It's massive. Yeah. So, that's the video. Hope you guys like it. If you got any questions, feel free to post them up. I haven't done too much on exploration, obviously, but I just kind of do what I need to. I need to go explore all these areas and see what's floating around in there. So, you guys have a great day. If you got any questions, post them up. And thanks for watching. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Talk to you later.